I started ski jumping at the age of four. My dad was teaching me to ski, you know, I'd, he'd teach me to try and make these beautiful alpine turns and I was like, yeah, that's fun and all, but I'm just gonna point it straight and hit this jump. And so naturally when I saw the jumps downtown, I was like, those are the biggest jumps in the world. I have to try that one day. I went out and um, tried it for the first time and my parents saw the smile on my face and was just instantly hooked. And when I started at four, I was in the midst of my treatment. I was diagnosed at three with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which is, um, you know, a blood cancer. And, um, you know, it's definitely had a long road ahead of me. And that's part of the reason why my parents signed me up for that Learn to Jump program. I was thinking, if I do everything they ask as quickly as possible, maybe I can go home one day earlier and I can jump one day sooner. And so it was a perfect distraction because it was not only motivating, but also kept my spirits up and kept me happy as I was going through that. Um, you know, health battle. So I founded CC Thrive, which is thriving after childhood cancer, really just with the goal of inspiring kids to reach their fullest potential and, and just to be cognizant of life after cancer. We're really just out there trying to capture inspiring stories and share them so that other kids who are currently going through treatment can look up to those stories and, and be inspired to accomplish the same goals. This place is magical. I mean, for sure, it's a, an amazing hill and the fans are super awesome. To have my one World Cup victory be in Oslo is even more special. And, um, you know, I think I look back on that day and a lot of things went very right for me in order for that to happen. And um, I'm really appreciative that it did happen. And I've been trying to chase that repeat performance ever since. but. Um, you know, chasing it is worthwhile because that one day was just amazing, so. I think that it's going to be, um, I don't know, bittersweet. I'm going to be happy to start and happy that it's over and that I've gotten to experience the whole journey, but it'll also be a little bit sad because it's a, it's a long journey coming to an end and there's going to be a lot of emotions going through it and uh, a lot of things to remember and miss of the sport, so. Um, yeah, it'll be kind of bittersweet. It, it definitely will make me want to reconsider the situation and, and maybe, you know, uh, think about maybe it's not time to retire and I should do another year, but I, I know in my heart this is the right decision and um, so I will go through it and enjoy every moment.